President Minister, dear Sauli, it is a special uh, honor to welcome you here uh, on this historic uh, day, as Finland becomes the 31st member of NATO. In a few moments, we will raise the Finnish flag at the NATO headquarters for the first <coughs> time. From today, 31 flags will fly together, a symbol of our unity and our solidarity. Joining NATO is uh, good for Finland, it is good for Nordic security, and it's good for NATO as a whole. Finland brings substantial and highly capable forces, expertise on national resilience, and years of experience working side by side with NATO allies. I'm deeply proud to welcome Finland as a full-fledged member of our alliance. And I look forward to also welcoming Sweden as soon as possible. At times like this, friends and allies are more important than ever. And Finland now has the strongest friends and allies in the world. President Putin wanted to slam NATO's door shut. Today, we show the world that he failed. That aggression and intimidation do not work. Instead of less NATO, he has achieved the opposite, more NATO and our door remains firmly open. President Ninistro de Sauli, thank you for your outstanding leadership and commitment and for leading Finland into the most successful alliance in history. So welcome, it's great to have you here. Welcome to the alliance. Thank you, it's uh, great to be here. Uh, Mr. Secretary General, dear Jens, uh, I want to thank you, you have been uh, with us all the way. I remember we discussed uh, quite deeply about NATO and Finnish membership already uh, 2021 when you brought your council to Finland. Uh, I guess we have been talking after that uh, by phone or by meeting almost tens of times. So <clears throat> it is uh, a great day for Finland and uh, I want to see that it is uh, an important day for NATO too. Security and uh, stability are those elements which we feel very strongly. And, uh, well, we can all think that if uh, people can live in secured, stable circumstances, that's the basic element of uh, happy life uh, and uh, you, I guess, know that uh, Finns are very happy already now. Uh, I would also see that uh, this is a process uh, from 30 to 31 and like you said, uh, very nearby future to 32, that is that we work for Swedish membership very hard. We are doing that together with them, together with you, and uh, that will continue. From Finnish point, also Swedish membership is uh, most important. But once again, stability and security, I wish that we can give our share of uh, increasing that uh, in the defense uh, alliance we have. We have time for a few questions. Please. Lauri Nurmi from Finland. Mr. President, how historic is this moment? You were born 1948. NATO was established 1949. Um, well, I will have my 75 years uh, birthday today and uh, NATO comes uh, next year. Uh, but uh, surely we have seen many, uh, you have described uh, many moments uh, being historic in this process. Uh, I guess this is the day 
most historic uh, to us and uh, to our partners too. Uh, so, a um, historic day, but without Sweden. How can Finland help Sweden to get into NATO? And how will NATO proceed uh, with the Swedish, uh, uh, Sweden to be allied? And then one more question to uh, Mr. Niinistö. Do you feel released, relieved? Um, yes, surely, from the result. But um, I want to tell you that the whole process it hasn't been that tough in a way. We have had so good cooperation all the time and uh, full trust. At least uh, we have in Finland all the time. It has been very clear that uh, in due time we will be members. So basically uh, the process hasn't been that uh, actually demanding. But surely it's a relief. Uh, when we can uh, repeat words, uh, security and, uh, and stability, that is a relief for all of us. To Sweden, we have uh, all the way been working together with Sweden. We continue helping them as much as possible. I have been discussing uh, with the President Erdogan, you have been discussing many times, and uh, I think uh, at least I am. I have a very positive outlook for that. Just to, to concur with the President Ninisto, we are both in close contact uh, with Ankara, with uh, with uh, President Erdogan. <coughs> I I went to Ankara uh, a few weeks ago, and that was where uh, we agreed on the way forward, uh, both when it comes to uh, this uh, fine ratification of uh, of uh, Finland, but uh, uh, also that. Uh, uh, we agreed to restart the process in what we call the trilateral permanent mechanism with Finland, Sweden uh, and Turkey to uh, follow up on the trilateral uh, memorandum of understanding that was signed uh, in Madrid. Uh, President uh, Ninisto was there, uh, we were, I was there uh, and, uh, and, uh, and now it's important to follow up uh, and to ensure that uh, one important element, which is actually to uh, finalize the, the membership process, uh, not only for Finland, but also for Sweden, is fully implemented. And, and my message uh, is and has been, uh, also in my meetings in Ankara, that uh, uh, not only Finland, but also Sweden, has delivered on the commitments they have made uh, under that trilateral uh, agreement. Uh, so uh, 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 nothing should... Uh, uh, hinder uh, or be an obstacle for also uh, the final um, uh, ratification of, uh, of also uh, Sweden to become a member. This is a uh, top priority for the alliance. This is uh, important for me personally. And all allies agree uh, that uh, we should try to finalize uh, the accession also of Sweden as soon as uh, possible. So we will continue to work on this and hopefully we can have Sweden in uh, uh, soon. Let me add one more thing, and that is that Finland and Sweden applied together. Uh, they did so in May last year. Already in June, one month after, uh, all allies, also Turkey, uh, invited Finland and Sweden to become members. And, uh, uh, and, uh, and so far this has been the fastest accession process in NATO's modern history. Um, I also say, stated that, of course, the most important thing is not that Finland and Sweden join exactly <coughs> at the same time. The most important thing is that they join as soon as possible. Today, Finland uh, is joining, and then we will ensure that also Sweden can uh, join as soon as possible. Okay, we'll go to uh, ARD. Question to the President. Uh, Russia always says that the enlargement of NATO towards the east or the north threatens Russia. and what do you or do, are you afraid that the Finnish accession is also a pretext for Russia to yes to see Russia surrounded to be threatened by the West? Actually, like you said, uh, Russia has been repeating that, and uh, President Putin took it up very clearly uh, in December 21, and that was one of the reasons why the discussion in Finland uh, rose. We don't want to be, uh, uh, or we do not want that others say what we should do and what we can't do. 
I had full belief, surely, on NATO. NATO won't close its doors. But nevertheless, um, uh, that was... Um, uh, Russians, in a way, tried to create a sphere around them. And, uh, well, we are not a sphere. <laughs> and uh, all this, uh, the result we see today. Lady over there. Thank you, Ida Hallikainen from Ilta Sanomat. Uh, this day means a big change for Finland's security. Uh, how, does, uh, how big this change is and what does it mean for us and for NATO? Well, like uh, <clears throat> Secretary General told, we have been on board quite a long time. Uh, we are enhanced partners with Sweden uh, now more than 10 years. And uh, during that time we have uh, all the time been developing our capabilities of working together with NATO. So the change is not that radical. Uh, it has uh, actually taken place year after year uh, by us getting closer. That uh, uh, the same fits with uh, Sweden too, surely. Uh, in a daily life, I do not believe that uh, uh, people see very much changes. But like I started with, uh, is that uh, I'm sure that uh, Finns feel themselves more secured more feeling that we are living in a stable no, <coughs> Europe, a stable world. And uh, that is most important for us, for us. Today, Finland will become a full member of the alliance. And that means that uh, from today on, uh, Finland will participate in all NATO uh, structures, uh, military, civilian activities, and also be at uh, the table in all NATO meetings and also have a vote uh, and be part of decision making within the alliance. Uh, but of course, most importantly, what happens uh, from today on is that uh, Finland will be covered by uh, NATO's ironclad security guarantees, our Article 5, that says that an attack on one ally will be regarded as an attack on all, one for all, all for one. Um, then the president is uh, absolutely right when he says that this has been a gradual uh, development. Finland and Sweden have many years been very close partners. Uh, then after we invited Finland and Sweden uh, in June last year, they uh, got an other status, invitee status, which is a special status, that actually uh, triggered a process where we started to integrate Finland and Sweden into our military and civilian uh, structures. Uh, but of course it is a different thing to be close and, uh, and an invitee and uh, to be a full member, which is the case uh, for Finland from today on. Thank you very much, colleagues. This wraps up this press point, but we'll see you at the flag-raising ceremony. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.